Good evening. Tonight. Getting unlimited solar energy from space. Can it be done? Yes it can. The U.S. Naval Research Laboratory is developing an innovative solar module, which is capable of capturing solar energy, converting it to direct current, and transmitting it back to Earth as a radio or microwave frequency. Each module will consist of a solar panel on its top layer that is used to absorb the sun's energy. The second layer, or the middle layer of the module is a converter used to convert the solar energy into radio waves. The last layer which faces the Earth will be an antenna layer which will be used to transmit the radio waves back to specific points on Earth where receivers then will convert the energy back to usable electricity. The system would consist of a large number of these modules, which would have to be assembled in space. The advantage of this system over solar panels installed on Earth, is that the system would always have contact with the sunlight, and would be producing energy around the clock. Solar panels on Earth are unable to produce energy when the sun is out of sight. An increased level of solar energy can be found in space where sunlight is unobstructed by atmospheric gases, clouds, etc. The energy-collecting satellite can be pointed to deliver the energy to specific locations on Earth, and these locations can be changed as needed. The U.S. Navy's aim is to build a system that can supply power to the military in remote locations eliminating the need for supplying conventional fuels, and reducing its huge demand for such fuels. But the same solar energy system could provide power for civilian use as well. Establishing the space power station would be very costly, but once established, such a system would be able to power entire cities around the clock. The system modules would need to be assembled in space with the help of space robots. The Naval Research Laboratory's Space Robotics Group is already working on developing the robots that will be used for this mission. Some disadvantages of this system include the huge cost of launching the satellite into orbit and assembling the modules in space. Maintaining the system would also be very costly, because it would require deploying astronauts, or space robots to make repairs. The space panels would likely have a shorter lifespan than panels installed on Earth because of the harsh environment to which they will be exposed. The space solar panels would still require Earth-based receiving stations which would likely be very large and costly. 